Seize Moments. Chapter 3. Say Goodbye. When the boys went down for, to breakfast, D Zabumafu told the boys that Pico was being sent to Academy up in Alaska. Without Zabu. Zabu shed many tears and so did Pico. Mostly Pico. Pico, your dad will be here in five minutes. Oh, and, and also you'll be able to see each other every 20 years, so make it snappy said the Mufu. Every twenty years? said the boys as they were crying river. They were also hugging Pico for support because this was a hard time for the boys. As Pico was about to get in into his dad's car, Larry Boy jumped out of a bush. Have fun in jail for babies, yelled Larry Boy. Pico growled at Larry Boy. Somehow that scared Larry Boy away. Then Pico got punished by its dad. Zabu looked at his dad, then slapped him and ran outside the house. Zabu started to think about Pico, and and he started to sing. Oh, Pico, you were my best friend, but then we were separated. We used to be inseparable, but now we aren't, sang Zabu. Somehow, Pico heard Zabu from 1,000 miles away. It was a heart connection. Pico repeated in a different tune. I need you now, sang Zabu and Pico. Heart connections are the best connections for the boys. Zabu went back to his house and apologized to his father and his little brother. His little brother was chucked into the attic by him, so Zabu apologized times two. Sometimes I chuck you into the attic, Zab said Zabumafu. Zabu's jaw dropped with surprise. He he cursed a little, but you don't want to hear that. Is that why I fall asleep so well? Zabu said in curiosity. Zabumafu rolled his eyes at Zabu and started to laugh. It wasn't a heart connection. It was a love connection. Give me co coffee because mommy doesn't love me, yelled Zabi from the attic. So Zabu got Zabi some coffee for respect him because Zabi is a brat and he will just keep bugging. Zabi started to jump off the walls and scream, I have the best brother in the world, over and over and over. All of the lemurs laughed, including Zabi. Love connection train coming to the station. Toot toot, yelled Zerumafu and Zabumafu as the parents drove in for a family hug. Even though right now it's going well, Zabu will st is still sad about Pico to go at the academy. He told his mom about it, and all she could do was give Zabu a big hug and a big kiss. Zabu felt a little better, but not too much to make him forget all about Pico. After his conversation with his mom, he went up to his room to look at one of his old friendship albums. Two minutes later, Zaru came in and looked at the album with Zabu, and many amazing memories came to their minds and their hearts. Zabi came into the room with them and saw the album. He looked at the picture with him and Pico when they met for the first time. Everyone shed many tears. After ten minutes, all of the family was shedding tears. The parents, because all their children were together. The bonding had never happened before, and now it has. When Zabu saw his mom in the room with the dad, he yelled, Disperse! And everyone ran to their rooms. They all locked their doors, too. Zabumafu and Zarumafu knocked on everyone's doors, and they were all silent. Want to go to Goofy Gus, Zabumafu? All of the children screamed and said, and said, Let me come, or else you will never come to our birthday parties! So Zabumafu and Zarumafu let Zabi, Zaru, and... Zabu go to Goofy Gus Playhouse and Food Palace with them. Zabumafu and Zarumafu hate Goofy Gus, but that was the only way they could come out of their rooms. The end of chapter 3.